Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to do something about this Saint Martin or San Martin SN004G. Okay, so I think as most of you, if you are an avid fan of San Martin, you might have know the news that they have released the so-called new female end links for this watch. Yeah, so I purchased a set from the San Martin official store in AliExpress and yeah, it took a while for it to arrive but uh, finally it is here. So let's see if it's the correct end link and uh, I will try to replace it and let you know how it looks. Okay, before I take this off, I think one of the so-called complaints about this watch even though it's a small size watch but the the male end links mix you know the the makes the effective lug to lug slightly longer than the case of the watch itself so hopefully with that female end link we can have a true lug to lug distance that is only the size of the watch case rather than the protruding male end link so let's um Open up and see what we have so they are kind enough to, to provide a pair of uh, spring bars and somehow these two endings decided to stay inside the bag oh. okay yeah i think it could be because of that uh, shrink wrap so it's a bit sticker sticky oh okay so there are two parts to these female endings um yeah i will try to open it up and try to figure out you know if i how to attach this together i'm guessing is that this portion will attach to the watch case i'll need to attach this part to here and i will need to remove the bracelet here and attach it to that small little piece there well i wonder how it will look but yeah let me just unwrap it and yeah i will try to replace this and put it on the wrist on a watch and we will come back later okay i've just removed the bracelet from the watch case and yeah i think what i'll need to do is to use a screwdriver i think last time san martin provided a pair of screwdrivers so i will have to use that pair of screwdriver to remove the screw that is holding the bracelet on this uh, so-called uh, end link the male end link here and i think it's the same goes for this side so i will need to remove this screw and this screw so then i should be able to remove that uh, end link from the bracelet so i will try to find back the pair of screwdrivers that was pro provided uh, together with the bracelet when I first purchased this watch and uh, we'll try to remove the screws. Ta-da! I managed to find the screwdrivers that came together with the watch and I also <laughs> managed to find the leftover thread locker that I have. I'm not sure if it's still usable but I have my own thread locker but I don't know because the one that I have is a high strength thread locker from Loctite so I'm hoping that this one is still in good condition which I hopefully I can still use it to you know put it on the screw thread to make sure that it stays in place so yeah I will be doing this off camera because the screws are kind of small and I need to work under a magnifying glass to be able to see better and hopefully the Loctite is not super duper tight so I should be hopefully I can remove the end links quite easily yeah so I'll see you guys in a while okay a quick update here so yep I've uh, unscrewed the um, end links from the bracelet and as you can see here the uh, this this setup is like you know you have a collar that also comes with a screw head and there is also a tiny tiny screw which I'm trying to hold in between my in, uh, fingers and my thumb so yeah so if you have to use screw two screwdriver at the same time one is like you know trying to fix one end of this either you fix the end here and you try to um, unlock here or you fi fix this end and you try to unlock the other side so yeah this is the trick so make sure you don't lose this because that new end links it, they doesn't come with this screw so yeah i managed to remove this and now i'm gonna remove the other side before i put back the new one so yeah hopefully i don't screw this up okay so one key thing before you put this back together is that you can see here 
this link that is supposed to attach to the end link is not symmetrical. So you have to get the orientation correct. So if I'm guessing correctly, this should be the orientation how it should attach to this end link. So it would be able to swing down and when you want to swing it up, it will just lock in place. Um, hopefully you can see that because uh, it's kind of small and yeah, so this is how it should be. So it can swing down, but when you want to move it up, it will lock in place. So make sure you're doing this correctly. Uh, if not, then you might have to remove the ending and redo this whole thing again. So hopefully, yeah, this uh, is some, uh, some tips. All right, so I've managed to um, put back the bracelet on the watch and um, yeah, I think it's okay. I'm putting it in the correct uh, orientation, I guess, because uh, yep, it can swing down and when it swings up, it just locks in place, if you can see here. Okay, so is it any better? Well, I would say maybe and maybe not a lot because uh, as you can see, if I were to do it like this, I think it's almost the same. Okay, maybe it's good because I can see that, uh, you know, the effective luck to luck maybe here and here is almost the same rather than for this, it slightly juts out a bit. So yeah, it, it's kind of better. Let me put it on the wrist. Oh, on the wrist, I think it feels a lot better because I don't... Um, have that you know center and links uh, coming out so yeah i think it's uh much better now um compared to previously so yeah this is how the watch sits on my small six inch um, or 15.2 centimeters three so what do you think i think it looks okay um it's not very expensive i couldn't recall the price but i'm gonna leave uh links to the AliExpress, uh, San Martin AliExpress site that's going to sell this end link. Uh, I, I, am, I am an Aliex, uh, AliExpress affiliate member. So if you decided to click on the link and buy, I get a certain percentage of commission, but you're not paying anything extra. So it, in a way, it goes to help my channel, to help me to sustain my my channel and so that I can share a lot more watches with you guys. So yeah, if you're really interested and you have this um, San Martin SN004 and you wanted uh, you know, a female ending, yeah, just try that. I think it looks okay. And finishing wise, I think it's okay. It's on par with the um, current blade bracelet and the watch case. You don't get a lot of, uh, you know, like on some watches you have like this mismatch, you know, of colors and uh, things like that but for this i think it looks okay you don't feel that it is out of place you know you don't see that it's like an afterthought that you put in because the color the brushing everything matches the uh, end links and the bracelet uh, or, the, or the case of the watch rather good yeah so that's it for this video i guess if you have any questions please uh, let me know and uh, i will try to answer them in the comments below and as usual, if you're new to the channel, please help to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me a lot. And you can also follow me on my Instagram at GSW underscore watch for more watch pictures. Till then, stay safe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.